This is it, a can't miss game and a backdrop to match the special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Big characters on the big stage, what a prospect. Find out how it unfolds right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome from Villa Park. Guy Mowbray with you for commentary alongside Sue Smith. And a live game from the Premier League on the way. It's Aston Villa versus Arsenal. Well, thanks, Guy. I can't wait for this one today. The atmosphere is buzzing and I'm hoping the football lives up to it. Here's today's Aston Villa team. Emiliano Martinez is the goalkeeper. Pau Torres plays alongside Diego Carlos in the centre of defence and they go with just one in attack. This is how Arsenal line up. Ben White plays with Alexander Zinchenko as fullbacks. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in the centre of midfield and they go with a single striker leading the line. Given away by Arsenal. Diego Carlos. Well, it's no surprise to see who we focused on as our player to watch in this game. You would presume that he'd play a really big part. Yeah, it's his ability on the ball for me. I know it's a cliche, but it's almost as if he's got it on a string at times. He's just able to manipulate it so well, work within those tight spaces, and then can pick out the right pass or get his shot off. And Rick Martinelli, and it's on now. They've gone in front, a key moment in the match. Well, here's the replay and it's great anticipation. The initial shot is struck well, but it's all about the follow-up. He's really alert in the box and finishes it off well. So it's 1-0 as the ball gets rolling again. And a challenge there that will surely result in a card. And that is a caution. Well, it's a poor challenge. Had to be booked for that. Marino. Real opportunity. And that's more than comfortable for the man in goal. That looks like a good advantage played. They're allowing space and he's finding it. In behind, can he finish? Oh, he saved it. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. It's fantastic reflexes. The noise levels have just gone up. I think they sense that this is an equaliser coming. It's a big opportunity, this. Well, the danger's still there. And it hasn't come to anything. Disappointing. The chance now for a quick transition. Now, this has to be. And it's hit the bar. Well, they're unlucky not to be two up. It's a decent effort as well. The advantage you just think would have calmed the nerves a bit, I'm sure. But you do feel they still need another goal just to make it a bit more comfortable. Oh, against the post. It's cleared and they can breathe easier. Oh, they didn't quite join the dots as they should there. Just offside. They've lost it now. 
Oh, good defending just when it was looking threatening. And with that, the first half at Villa Park comes to an end. Well, Martin Odegaard has certainly been influential in the first 45 minutes. How would you rate him, Sue? Well, it was certainly a good 45 minutes. Obviously got the goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully see a little bit more of that in the second half. And we're back underway for the second 45. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. Pushing forward now to make the right choice. And the cross comes in. Only half the job done there. Could be a chance to break here. Pushing nicely upfield here. Oh, that's a bad one. How bad is up to the ref to determine. And the referee shows red. Little argument to be had. No, it's a clear decision for me. The manager's going to have to readjust though now. Shore up that defence. <laughs> Using his strength well. What a chance! And that's not a bad save at all. They opt to go short with the corner. Oh, it looked as though the header was goal-bound. That's a really good stop. Merino. That's not a bad looking ball. Well, not quite fully away here. And the attack comes to an end. Disappointing. Moving forward under no real pressure. And that's really not a finish that's good enough, not from that sort of distance. Ben White. Rice. Rice. Taking this on. And that's where it ends, with possession lost. Counter-attack coming, away they go. Watkins. Oh, he's done well to get past his man. And so close to finishing it off. Oh, that was impressive. The amount of players sprinting to get forward in support of the ball. So many options. Picked the right one, just couldn't convert the chance. Just needs the composure now. And that should do it. A two-goal cushion to rest on until the end. Well, if we watch this again, it's all about the run. You've got to question the defending. But I don't want to take anything away from his superb individual goal.
And the game restarts with the score 2-0. Barkley. Ollie Watkins. Declan Rice. Well, full time is approaching and the crowd will almost certainly make their feelings clear about this when the whistle goes. Yeah, they'll be disappointed with the performance. Just didn't keep the ball well enough. They were a bit sloppy at times and the goal's conceded. That's going to really concern the manager. And the keeper makes the save. And really, we shouldn't have expected anything else. A short corner taken. And the keeper there has had his life made easy by that. Ollie Watkins. On to Torres. Bubakar Kamara. And there's the whistle to bring a close to the match. A frustrating day here for Villa, far from at their best. And it's three points dropped. This was below the levels we expect from them. Just looked a bit disorganised off the ball. Not enough leaders out there for me today. They've got to be better for the next game. Well, a good performance out there from Martin Odegaard, as we've come to expect. What are your thoughts, Sue? Well, he'll be buzzing about the result and his goal, I'm sure. It was a good all-round performance. He was neat and tidy on the ball. And I didn't see him give the ball away too much either.